Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you custom columns in the Media Explorer and Reaper. So we're going to start out this video by reviewing the Media Explorer. To get to it, we go up here to the View menu and choose the Media Explorer. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's all Control X, and on Mac, it's Option Command X. And if we choose it, it opens up this window. And we could choose sounds to import into Reaper. Although we could also just drag them in from our hard drive. But to review, I have all my sounds in a folder, which we could see right here called Sound Library. And we can see I have them all in folders. And to save this as a shortcut so you can quickly get to it, let's go back, just right click it, add to shortcut list, and it adds it right over here. So now, if we go back and reopen this dialog, we can just choose it right here. And all my sounds are right in front of me. Although, another way we could do it, instead of opening it up with folders, let's remove this and choose it again. But this time, instead of creating a shortcut, we'll make a database of that folder. And instead of seeing our audio files in folders, we'll see them all right here. And we can see what folder they came from right over here. This is our folder, and this is the sound. And we can hear them just by clicking them. And notice over here, after we play them, they're marked. This way we know which sounds we already heard. But if we go back to a previous folder and choose it again, those marks disappear. So it's only temporary to let us know which sounds we previewed. But now that the files are all together and don't appear in folders, we probably want to use the search function. So if I want a kick sound, just type in kick, just the kick sounds show up. Or snare, and so on. But we could favorite all our favorite sounds over here. Let's go back to our kick. Let's scroll down and find some of my favorite kick sounds. Let's say I like that one, just right click it and set it as a favorite. And we'll see it shows up right here. Let's go down, choose another, make it a favorite. Let's choose one more. Set as favorite. So now if we come back to this folder, we can go to the top and just click up here to see all our favorites at the top. So it's a great way of choosing our favorite sounds and searching for them so we can find them quickly. But if we want a bit more detail and make this feature more powerful, we could use custom columns. Let's say we wanted to create a column that'll rate our sounds based on their quality. We could right click up here, go down here and choose add user column. Then we can give it a name. I'm going to name it quality under key and description. So now if we create that custom column, it's going to show up in here. Let's scroll over to find it right here, quality, and drag it over and put it right here. And notice we can drag our columns around to change their order or hide and show them by right clicking, show hide our columns or the user columns over here. So you could hide it or show the quality column we just created, which is now back here. So now we could rate our sounds. Let's just rate them randomly. Let's say I prefer this one. I'll type a one. Maybe this one is a two and a three, four and five. Let's just do a bunch to randomly rate them. So now we can go back to the top and view them in order based on the quality we rated them. Just choose it here and they show up all ones. 
or twos, and threes, fours, and fives, sorted based on the quality we chose. So we could rate any of our sounds so we could remember how much we preferred each one. If we want to delete the columns, just right click, delete user column, and delete the quality. And now it goes away. Let's try another user column. Let's right click, add user column, and we can use this to name our projects. So we know what sounds went with each project, either to choose it ahead of time or after. So we'll create it, it shows up over here. Let's drag it over and put it up here. Let's go to the top. Let's say we're searching for a kick. Let's scroll down. Let's say we wanted to use this kick for a project. Just double click over here and give it a name. And now it's gonna remember the name of the project that goes with this sound. Let's do the same for a snare. Let's say we chose this one, double click it, give it a name based on the project. Let's do it for a hi-hat, double click, give it a name. Let's do the same for a clap. Let's choose this one, double click it, give it a name. And now we can clear what we searched. We can see our sounds alphabetically or choose them by project just by clicking up here in the column. And we can see the sounds we chose for this project. Our kick, snare, clap, and hat. So it's a great way of remembering which sounds went with which project. And also we could search based on the name. So if we go back, to alphabetical, we can just search our project name and just those sounds show up. So it's a great way of finding any of our sounds that go with each project. And we could also do this with genres. Let's create a new column right here, name a genre. Now we could label each sound based on the type of sound it's playing. Let's go to our kicks. And let's say this sound is a hip hop sound. We could just name it right here. And it's going to name that sound based on its genre so we can find it later. And let's make this one for dance. And we'll make this one for RB. And now we could search our sounds alphabetically or search them by genre. And they show up my dance kick, my hip hop kick and r &B. And again, we can search it by that genre right here. Let's search dance, and the dance one shows up, or r and or hip hop. And that sound that we labeled based on its genre shows up. So using custom columns is a great way of categorizing our sounds based on their quality, based on their project, or even their genre. Of course, you could choose any category you want, just right click and add a user column right here. And then you can search or just view things based on that column. So that's pretty much it. That's custom columns for the Media Explorer and Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.